Hey, my name's Tom Boykin. I have an audio post YouTube channel, and this is a like $20 Radio Shack mic. Uh, why am I using this? Well, I'm actually going to chuck it over a rafter tie in my studio. So goodbye, good sound. So goodbye, good sound. There we go. Yeah, that's probably a good. That's probably a good mic stand there. Uh, why am I throwing a mic in my studio? It's because there's uh, a bunch of AI tools that have recently come out that clean up impossibly difficult audio. In fact, they don't even clean up the audio. They actually like replace the audio. So you can have the worst possible sound and these tools will resynthesize the audio and it's incredible. And, and I'm not a fear monger. Like I'm not really afraid of being replaced because yeah, AI might take my job as a dialogue editor. That's a possibility. Anybody who thinks otherwise is frankly being stupid because the tools are rapidly developing. They're not going to get worse. They're only going to get better. So to think like, oh, my job's safe. It might be safe for five years, but it's not probably safe for 10 years. So I'm not afraid because I'll be able to do other stuff. I could work construction or I'm, I switched out of the industry before and it always works out really well. But I'm not blind to these tools. I'm, I am aware of them. Some of them, when I, when I can use them, if I have to use them, or I'm asked to use them, I will use them. I'm not afraid of touching AI. So it is something that just you need to be aware of. And so we're going to check out this audio and see what happens with this $20 mic hanging off my ceiling behind me. It's a dynamic microphone too. It's actually not even an XLR microphone. It's a TS connection. It's a quarter inch connection that I plug into guitar amps sometimes. So we're going to see what Adobe Enhance can do to this. And if the result doesn't make you a little bit afraid of your career as a dialogue editor, maybe getting flushed down the drain, then it really should. Because these tools are honestly pretty amazing, especially for the price. So we'll check it out. So now you're hearing me back on a regular microphone. Uh, and it's, you know, six inches from my face. All I have to do is drag and drop this terrible audio four into podcast.adobe.com forward slash en forward slash enhance takes a while to process the file then i'll download it and bring it back into my daw give it a quick listen and probably be pretty happy with the result a couple of gotchas or caveats with this these tools that resynthesize the audio don't always get it right so you're still a little bit at the the whim of the source material, but they're pretty dang good. Uh, and you can even align and mix them with the original audio if you need to combine the raw with the cleaned up. So it looks like it's done. Let's go ahead and download this to our AI shit folder. And now I'm going to bring it into here, Pro Tools, and we're gonna see what this sound like. Looks like it got this stuff pretty well. Oh, yeah, you guys can hear this. Like $20 Radio Shack mic. Uh, why am I using this? Well, I'm actually going to chuck it over a rafter tie in my studio. So goodbye, good sound. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's probably a good. That's probably a good mic stand there. Uh, why am I throwing a mic in my studio? It's because there's... Uh, a bunch of AI tools that have recently come out that clean up impossibly difficult audio. So there's some weird digital stuff going on, but the fact that it was able to take a terrible recording like that and actually make it sound pretty polished is, that's great. <laughs> I mean, to do that. So think of what this technology is going to be able to do in five years, because we're at the, the front edge of it you know this is the leading edge of stuff 
it's pretty impressive. So don't sleep on this stuff. Don't don't be afraid of it. I mean, definitely know that this might end up replacing you at some point. Until then, try to harness the power and use it. Um, because if you don't, if you just stick your head in the sand, it's the world is going to pass you by. You're going to be that guy making horseshoes when everybody's driving a car. So um, that's my words of wisdom for you today. Ah, I bet you thought I was done with this video. <laughs> Not even close. I was editing this and I thought, hmm, I wonder what the tools in DaVinci Resolve, which is what I used to edit my YouTube videos, I wonder what those audio tools would do to this video. So let's check out what happens with that. So let's go in here. I'm going to use the AI voice isolation. And then I'm going to play this clip again for you guys. And I want you to tell me which you think is better, the Adobe Enhance or the DaVinci Resolve AI voice isolation. There we go. Yeah, that's probably a good, that's probably a good mic stand there. Uh, why am I throwing a mic in my studio? It's because there's uh, a bunch of AI tools that have recently come out that clean up impossibly difficult audio. In fact, they don't even clean up the audio. They actually like replace the audio. So you can have the worst possible sound and these tools will resynthesize the audio and it's incredible. And, and I'm not a fear monger. Like I'm not really afraid of being replaced because yeah, AI might take my job as a dialogue editor. That's a possibility. Anybody who thinks otherwise is frankly being stupid because the tools are rapidly developing. They're not gonna get worse. They're only gonna get better. So to think like, oh, my job's safe. It might be safe for five years, but it's not probably safe for 10 years. So I'm not afraid because I'll be able to do other stuff. I could work construction or I, I switched out of the industry before and it always works out really well. But I'm not blind to these tools. I'm, I am aware of them, some of them, when I, when I can use them, if I have to use them uh, or I'm asked to use them, I will use them. I'm not afraid of touching AI. So it is something that just you need to be aware of. And so we're going to check out this audio and see what happens with this $20 mic hanging off my ceiling behind me. It's a dynamic microphone too. Uh, it's actually not even an XLR microphone. It's a TS connection. It's a quarter inch connection that I plug into guitar amps sometimes. So we're gonna see what Adobe Enhance can do to this. And if the result doesn't make you a little bit afraid of your career as a dialogue editor, maybe getting flushed down the drain, then it really should, because these tools are honestly pretty amazing, especially for the price. So we'll check it out. If you've made it this far in the video, congratulations. Now it's my turn to ask you for something, some kind of call to action, which I would say call to action would be, let me know in the comments which you think sounds better. The Adobe Enhance from Adobe, or the DaVinci Resolve AI voice isolation, or if you like the crappy $20 microphone sound better than both of those, let me know. So let's have a quick vote, original audio, Adobe or DaVinci, and we'll see which one wins in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.